I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Mansion I done speaks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. Hey y'all, it's me today by Jordan. The company we'll be working with today is West Kiss Hair. They sent me over this 13 by 6, 30 inch straight, 200% density HG lace wig. This wig does come with the knots already bleached. It comes free pluck. It comes with three cones on the inside with two adjustable straps. And it is super full. Let's get into it. So today we're going to color this wig red. So we're going to be using our BW2 powder, our 50 volume developer. We're just going to pour that powder into some hot water. Um, I basically just stopped up my sink with the stopper, filling it with some hot water, and then I threw in a bunch of powder. I never use measurements anymore, you all. I just eyeball it. And then we're going to put like two bottles of that 50 volume developer, or really like a bottle and a half, because one of my bottles was a half bottle. We're going to put all that in the sink, mix it all together, and we're going to do the water bleach method. I do want to add, before I do this method, I do go ahead and bleach my knots first because this method will not properly bleach your knots. So go ahead and bleach your knots first. Let that sit and don't rinse it out. Just leave it how it is. And once it's done, then you can do this process right here. So I did bleach the knots off camera before I started this process. Now it's time to dunk that wig in that mixture and make sure that you're getting it all the way in there and that you're brushing it thoroughly so that the product on in this concoction can be, you know, evenly distributed. After that, I'm going to cover my sink with some foil just to trap in as much heat as I can. And I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. I think I lean more towards the hour side. That hour is up, so now I'm gonna, you know, wring out all that product out the wig, and then we're gonna rinse it out using some warm water, and we're going to wash it with our Dawn dish detergent, and we're also gonna tone our knots with our Shimmering Lights Purple Shampoo, and then we're gonna come back. Sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way. Two thirty, baby, won't you 
And now it's color time. Today I'm using my favorite red color again, Adore Crimson. I think in total I used about three or four bottles of this. But you already know for the frontal, we separate the frontal from the tracks. And we're actually going to paint the color on the frontal using our comb. This is how you get very close to the roots without staining your lace. And once you cover all the roots on the frontal, you can just um, slap the dye on the rest of the wig however you choose and it'll be good to go. You can even watercolor the wig, but I prefer to like paint my colors on all my wigs, preferably. I prefer to do it, I don't always do it, but when you paint your color on, you just get a better color payout. Um, it lasts longer. It's more vibrant. You know, it just it just does what it needs to do. It just lasts longer. Um, so I like to paint my color on. But stay tuned. But I do know one thing, yo. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. And now I'm going in with my color brush and we're just going to apply that color to all the roots of the tracks in the back. I like to do this just to make sure like everything is evenly distributed. And then, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm being very precise and very neat. But once that color is all over them roots in the back, I'm going to be just squeezing the dye out the bottle and rubbing it together with my hands and then combing it with my comb. I ain't got time for all that extra stuff. <laughs> just make sure you know the color is, you know, painted on where it needs to be painted on and then the rest you can just slap it on, baby.
We are done applying this color. I'm going to let it sit overnight. I would recommend you let it sit at least six hours. It is the next day. We're going to rinse this color out. Make sure you rinse this out with completely cool water from your faucet, the coldest it can get. Just go ahead and rinse it out. Don't be afraid. Now we're going to apply our silicone mixed bamboo conditioner and we're just going to quickly condition the wig. Make sure that you are always brushing through the wig with no matter what process that you are doing just to make sure everything is always evenly distributed. And then we're going to rinse that out with cold water as well and we'll be done with this whole color process. Moving along, it's time for that install. So right now we're gonna apply Ruby Kisses makeup all over the lace. And now we're just going to position that wig on her head and then sew it down. And now we're applying our glue and smoothing it back in the shape of her hairline. Today we did four layers. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. That fourth and last layer is dry, so go ahead and lay that lace down. Come 
playing. Spin on playing. My head is don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They stay with it. I'm okay with it. When they come to me, they'll play with it. And now we're just gonna blow dry the lace interchange between warm and cool air for about a minute. So now I'm going to separate all the hairs out that I know aren't going to be glued down and I'm just gonna snatch those out with my fingers. Um, make sure you're only snatching out about one to two strands at a time and you're making sure that you hold the lace down because you don't wanna lift up your lace or interrupt anything. Now let's go ahead and tie that lace down using our ultimate melt band. And right now I'm spraying some Mazzani um, thermal heat protecting on the hair and then we're just gonna blow dry through that hair really quickly, you know, just get it as straight as possible, get it smooth, get it dry. And then we're gonna sit her up under a dryer on about medium heat for about 10 minutes while that band is still on and then we're gonna come back. And quick mention, this Seaberry hair serum, this will get your hair all the way together. If you kind of like overprocess your hair a little bit, or it's super dry, or it's super brittle, you put this serum on before you style it, it's going to bring that hair back to life. Um, shout out to Shakana Jo. She put me onto this product, baby. Yes, it's been a staple in my um product line for a while now. So now we're going to take that band off and proceed to cut out that excess lace. And today we'll be doing a simple middle part So just take your wax stick and your comb Part your hair down the middle And then take your hot comb to flatten everything down We'll also, we also will not be doing baby hairs today So we'll just be strictly, you know, slicking the hairline back with our edge brush and our hairspray and then we're going to spray the entire line with our hairspray and tie it down to give that ultimate melt
Now it's time to tie that lace down and get into the styling portion of this video. Today we'll be using our T3 convertible base with our one inch um, attachable head. Um, this is basically like a curly one head. And we're just gonna do some one curls. I curled the right side to the left and the left side to the right, basically everything from the face. And yeah, once I take the curl off the rod, I squeeze it in my hand and blow it just to get some of that heat off. And then I stretch it out and spray it with um, a firm hole hairspray and just leave it how it is. And I did that for the entire head. Oh, 
I've curled her entire head, so we're gonna take this band off. It is a little bit harder taking that band off when you do use your even spray because it really like locks that lace down and, and it can sometimes get stuck to the band, but you know, just be patient with it. Um, we are gonna add a little bit more makeup to the lace just to make sure it's blending um, a little bit more better. We're gonna add some concealer to that part. We're gonna define that part. Um, we're gonna create a little lift in the front and add my no bend clips. You know, we're just gonna finish out the finishing style.
maintain it. Safe to say the kid get older. Forever gang, I'm never switching over. Made a lane and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rappers, they be bogey. Better get a pack and keep the hope. Big dripper stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get low. He ain't focused yet, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket out from motion. Shout out to Sushi Sweet, they keep me rolling. But if we get the out, we gotta slow. Ryan around with Drake, like we yo, we yo. I got some gas and I was smoke. Still got a pass in the hood, call it give and go. Keep a nigga, man, bitch, in a fickle phone. Let me fuck when I want, I just come and go. Man, these rap too big for these skin and clothes. I might put me in him and some bitch about. Man, look great, this nigga is like getting low. To get a more fuller look, I do like to separate each one curl into miniature pieces. And I like to twirl them in the direction that I curl them. This is just going to give you more volume. It's just going to bring the whole look together. I've been doing this little technique for years. Probably since 2015 when I... 2014, 2015 when I first started doing hair. Like, this is... This will always send your one curls to that next level. Um, Because if you leave it like this, you can kind of tell where you curled and what section is what section but with separating it out and fluffing it out it just it just brings it to a whole nother level you got to try it out Also to define her part some more, we're gonna use our high beans burgundy spray. Um, this is always optional. If you don't want a super divine part, you do not have to do this at all. This is just her personal preference. Um, you know, I give my clients what they want. And y'all, let's get into that final recap. Make sure you check the description box below on how to purchase this West Kiss hair wig. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. Goodbye.